Hi, everybody. Yes, this is very impromptu. But this was something that I really wanted to talk about. I know a lot of people are probably getting ready for dinner. It's not the most optimal time. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Steph. But I wanted, I wanted to get something off of my heart and out to you guys. And I, I, and I actually, I wanted to hear from you guys because, oh, hi, Kev. Hi, Kimberly. And the reason why I, I entitled this The Comparison Game is because I've been hearing, what's up, Tom? I've been hearing so many people talking about comparing this, that, or the other. Hi, Lauren. So type a number one in the chat box if you have ever compared yourself to someone else. Chris, what's up, brother? Type a number one in the chat box if you're on here live or on the replay if you've ever compared yourself to someone else. Because I want to I wanna talk about some things with you guys because it's really – it's really important that you that you understand what I have really found out about comparison. Gracie says yes. Stephanie says yes. Now, if you've acknowledged that you've compared yourself, I want to ask you guys, does it feel good when you compare yourself to someone else? Yes or no? Type a Y or an N in the chat box, does it feel good when you compare yourself to someone else? And this is just a, it's, it's been such this like crazy revelation for me because I've realized that the comparison game has only come about recently for me. I mean, not so much for me like comparing myself, but so here's the thing. Um, prior to being a professional network marketer, I was a, a health club owner and a personal trainer. And I was thinking the other day that I, I, I keep hearing about in, per, in, in, in personal development, in entrepreneurship, in network marketing, events, podcasts, everyone talks about don't compare, don't compare yourself, don't compare yourself, don't compare yourself. And I've just been, it's, it's been literally just circling around me nonstop. Everyone keeps like, you know, don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't pay attention to this person. Don't compare yourself to that person. You know, you know, their success doesn't block whatever it is. And it's interesting because I went back and I thought about before network marketing when I was just a, a very busy personal trainer and when I was just running my gyms. Was I comparing myself? And I, I asked myself this question uh, yesterday. And my answer was no. I, I don't remember ever comparing myself to anyone when I was just being a personal trainer, when I was just doing my daily thing because I didn't have anybody to compare myself to. It was, it was just me. It was, it was me versus me. And then I remember at a certain point in my network marketing business, I would say probably two and a half to three years in that this whole comparison monster really started to affect me. It really, it really started to wear on me because I was seeing all of these other people around me doing certain things. Hi, George Ann. They were, they were, I mean, if you guys can relate to this, type Y or yes in the chat box because I want to see who's with me on this because, you know, I, I want you guys to share this with me. I want you to think. I really want you to, like, dig deep. Like, remember where you were before network marketing, the mindset that you were. I mean, obviously, we weren't as personally developed as we are now. But I want you guys to go back. Hi, Nancy. I want you to go back um, and, and think about, like, where you were before network marketing and the mindset that you were in, whether you were in a nine-to-five job or you owned your own business or whatever it was. You know, just type a number one in the chat box. You know, I've, I've, 
I've never been a big compare person. And Gracie, that's that that's important. You know, it's and it's one of those things where Stephanie says, I used to compare all the time when I was in dance class. And and this whole comparison monster has been like it's been rearing its head. Not so much at me, but everyone is comparing themselves to everyone else. You know, how one person is living their life, how this person is living their life, because everyone thinks that the one way that someone is doing something, don't compare. You know, I, it, it's so natural as human beings for us to compare. It's just, that's what we do. You know, when we're in a, like, and as, as much as we do our best, especially in network marketing, you know, sometimes it feels like a game. Like, it, it, it's almost like, you know, like, who's, who's against who? Who's doing this? Who's doing that? Yes, it's, it's, a, it's a team game. But it almost, it almost feels like, I don't, it, it just feels like you're just, keep, you're constantly just running into walls. And you can't help the natural progression of our own biology, where if we see someone else gracing that stage in a shorter amount of time than us, and we know that we're busting our butts, we, we are naturally, no matter what, no, whether we admit it to people or not, in our heads, we're saying, what are we doing wrong? What am I not doing? What do they have that I don't? These are the thoughts that start playing in our minds. And I, and I, I keep thinking to myself, why does it keep happening? You know, wh why, do we, why do we naturally compare ourselves? So I started to really dissect this. And, and, and work backwards off of this and reverse engineer it. And, 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 I, and I came up with some, some understandings why. You know, naturally, when you're looking at someone on a stage or listening to a podcast or seeing their success, the car that they drive, the house that they live in, you know, the, the money that they're making, which is not the money that you're making. It's not the house that you live in. It's not the car that you're driving. You know, you're literally maybe living paycheck to paycheck or not able to afford this. And it, it doesn't, it, it, correct me if I'm, like, guys, if you're, if you're agreeing with this, just type a Y or yes in the chat box. Sometimes when you see someone else succeeding so much, sometimes it makes you upset. Sometimes it does the reverse. Sometimes it, it actually makes you feel bad. And here's what I want to tell you. That is okay. It's okay to get upset. It's okay to feel bad. It's okay to feel like you're in a slump or you should be doing something else or this isn't working or you might want to quit. You have to acknowledge those feelings. But here's what I can tell you. I don't, and I said this before, I don't think any of us are ever happy and we should never be happy with where we are in our businesses. We should always be wanting to push forward. But I will tell you this, and I know this for an absolute fact. Money does not by happiness. Happiness is created by you. So if you're, if you're doing this and you're just going after that carrot because you think that if you get a certain rank or you start cycling a certain amount of times and you start getting recognized and now people are paying attention to you because you're a four and five star that now all of a sudden you're important. You're wrong. You're important right now. You don't need to be acknowledged. 
you don't need to be recognized. There's only one person that really needs to recognize what you're doing and what you're doing well and what you're doing right. And that's you. And I can't tell you not to compare yourself because I'm, I'm sorry, guys, you're going to. The next event that you go to, no matter how much you, you no matter how much in your head, you're going to tell yourself, I am not going to compare myself when I see those top leaders on the stage that have done this in a shorter amount of time for me. You're not going to be able to help yourself. Plain and simple. Because we are human beings. The, this is how our brain works. Our brain works. We see something. Someone graces that stage. They're a 10 or 11 star crystal executive. Their, 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 their business has grown 430%. They're on this rocket ship. And there is you sitting in the same place you were two years ago at the same event. Now, are you going to be excited for that person? Absolutely. But there is going to be a moment. It may be a moment. It may be a few minutes. It may be an hour. It may be the entire weekend. But you're going to compare at some point. It's natural human nature. But what I can tell you is that if you honor that comparison and accept where you are right now and that it doesn't matter if you didn't win the cruise and if you didn't hit the crystal reset and if you didn't keep your business active and you fell off, that doesn't matter. You guys, you have to understand life is so much bigger. We bring life into our life. So you have to really acknowledge how you feel. What fills your tank? If this is all making sense, please type a number one in the chat box. Because I want to give you guys permission. I want to give you guys permission to feel pissed off, to feel frustrated, to feel upset. Because Nancy will tell you if she's still on here, I was kicking some walls Monday and Tuesday. I was kicking some walls because I'm frustrated. I still, I, I'm, I'm better now. I was in it for a couple days. I was having some things thrown my way and I'm sorry. I'm going to compare myself. I'm, I'm going to question, am I not being a good leader? And should I be doing something else? Can I be doing something better? It's natural. It happens. But guys, what I want you to know is that it's okay. And I know that we talk about this whole comparison versus emulation. You can emulate yourself after someone all you want. If you want to be Susan Sly, go be Susan Sly. If you want to be Emily Vavra, go be Emily Vavra or Lori Hardor or Lisa DeMeo. You can be any of those people. You can be the next whoever you want to be. But emulation without action is just comparing. I want you to think about that. Emulation without action is just comparing. So as long as you're taking some action steps from who you want to emulate yourself after, you will stop comparing yourself. And you will start using that comparison as motivation. And here's the other thing I want to tell you. Everyone has their own path. Everyone has their own journey. I want you guys to honor your path. I want you guys to honor your journey. I want you guys to honor yourselves. And don't worry about what other people are doing. 
I want you guys to type a Y or a yes in the chat box if you said yes to network marketing or whatever business you're in to not have a boss because I want you guys to know something. We are all grown-ups. We can do whatever we want to do. No one has the right or the obligation to control us or to tell us what we can or cannot do. No one. The only person that has that right and has that obligation is ourselves. So guys, I want you to know and I want you to understand you have to honor your comparisons. You have to honor those feelings. Because when you can start to honor every single way that you feel, you're then going to step into your power. And again, remember, money, it does provide you more. Traveling, things that you want, but I will remind you, happiness is not in the make of your car. Happiness is not in the size of your house. Happiness is not in the size of your bank account. Happiness lies within yourself. And when you can find your happiness, you have everything. So guys, I know this was pretty impromptu. For those on the replay, please feel free to contribute to this. Send me an inbox. Let me know how this made you feel. I just wanted to thank who was on here live for contributing. And remember, honor your feelings and honor everything that your life stands for. Have a great night, everybody, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.